Hello, everyone. Welcome to CXO Spice. CXO Spice is a platform for thought leaders who share their point of view on innovation and explain how to make it happen in real world. I'm your host, Helen Yu, and today's topic is unlocking AI optimization, highlighting strategic partnership between Deloitte and Intel. So I'm thankful for Intel uh, to sponsor this episode, CXO Spice. Now let's welcome our special guest, Shakur Rusby, Senior Manager, Business Strategy and Intel Alliance Leader at Deloitte. Hi, Shakur. Welcome to CXO Spice. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Great to have you. So before we dive into our discussion today, could you share your background and your role at Deloitte? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Helen, and first of all, thank you so much for, you know, this opportunity to speak with you and your audience today. Um, I am a biz I, I'm a leader within our business strategy practice, and I focus on our technology clients. Uh, and currently, I lead the enablement of our Intel go-to-market alliance strategy and the commercialization of AI offerings. Um, and, then, and then really what I'm most passionate about is really bringing you know, a lot of these emerging technologies to the market and to our clients. And I believe that, you know, we can really help bridge the gap between, you know, the, the next uh, generation of AI and, and these emerging technologies and help our clients really find the impact um, for their customers uh, and for our partners. So really excited to be here. Yeah, delighted to have you today and such an enablement is such an important role in today's environment. So let's start with your take on the AI landscape. What are you seeing today in the market? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so look, the, the acceleration of Gen AI, particularly in the consumer landscape, I think has led enterprise leaders really across all industries to quickly recognize the importance of needing to adopt AI, um, but they also need to calibrate their business strategies with their technical capabilities. Um, and as, as a result, enterprises are rapidly, you know, developing all kinds of AI solutions. Um, in fact, uh, I, would, I would point your audience to our most recent state of the AI in the enterprise survey uh, that Deloitte did, we know that 94% of business leaders reported that AI is critical to their success over the next five years. Hmm. Um, but despite that enthusiasm, we know that there are several challenges uh, that persist where enterprises are having uh, challenges overcoming uh, you know, those to be able to get AI at scale. And, and what we're finding is through our own independent research, as well as our partnership with Intel, we not only have a better understanding of what these challenges are, but we also have developed a point of view on how to unlock you know, that potential through software and hardware optimizations uh, for enterprises. Well, thanks for sharing that survey. I love what you said, Shakur, about calibrate business strategy with technology capability, right? And since 94% of business leaders believe that's critical, that's really fantastic. But Obviously, we have more work to do. We know there's no doubt that AI presents remarkable opportunities for enterprises. However, there are still challenges, as you alluded here. Can you provide some insights on what those challenges are? Yeah. Um, so, so we've we've um, studied the market. We've had several interviews um, with our enterprise clients. And what they're telling us is that they're faced with, um, you know, a variety of challenges, uh, particularly around making, you know, infrastructure decisions that are going to support their AI goals. There are some uh, that have fully embraced AI, and that's fantastic. Um, but then there are others that are early in their adoption of AI. And so, so with that, you know, spectrum, um, some of the challenges that we see, um, and I'll and I'll kind of summarize these into the top three. Uh, number one is not knowing what infrastructure is even needed to run some of the AI workloads efficiently. So they can certainly, you know, design and develop all kinds of um, architecture that they need, but to run it efficiently is becoming a question that uh, many enterprises are are interested in. 
Uh, in fact, over 29% indicated that choosing the right technology was a key challenge in starting and scaling AI projects. Mm -hmm. um, the second challenge I would say is that clients are facing high costs to enter the AI space. And this, you know, could be in due to partly um, the fact that this is a complex space, right? Uh, the actual, um, you know, AI models, getting through procurement, how much storage, there's a variety of assumptions that have to be made in developing the business case for AI. And that's certainly challenging for our clients. Uh, in fact, you know, nearly 37% of those who we surveyed believe that proving the business value for AI still remains a challenge just to be able to initiate AI efforts. Mm -hmm. And then the third challenge is for those enterprises that have already embarked on that AI journey, um, they're now starting to face challenges and difficulties in sustaining the ongoing and ever increasing expense of running those AI solutions. Nearly 38% indicated that they are facing constraints related to funding those solutions. So all in all, yes, I think clients are really excited and hopeful about AI. Um, but, you know, as far as adoption of AI goes, um, there are going to be several challenges that they have to overcome. Yeah, I would just echo what you said, Shakur. Three challenges. Number one is not knowing what infrastructure really uh really uh, worked to run the workload or most efficiently to run the workload. And number two is a high cost. Uh, you, you mentioned about 37% of the uh, AI, the company still uh, have challenges proving the business value of AI. And thirdly is the sustaining, uh, you know, the challenge to sustain the ongoing investment in AI adoption. So thank you for highlighting those challenges. And uh, based on what I heard, Deloitte and Intel have had a long lasting strategic alliance. So how does your alliance contribute towards addressing these key AI adoption challenges? Yeah, um, an another great question. And, and I would say that you know, in, in deep collaboration with Intel, you know, we have explored both hardware and software considerations mm -hmm. um, that, that clients uh, may need to examine so that they can directly address some of these challenges. Um, and, and also, you know, through this, through developing this, this point of view with Intel, we also believe that we can help clients maximize their returns on their AI investments as well. Um, you know, you know, this this joint, um, you know, research between Intel and Deloitte offers a significant amount of insights into, into what I would call fit for purpose AI mm -hmm. hardware, along with software optimizations. And this is really, again, to help enterprises find the right balance between three key dimensions around cost performance and energy consumption. I love that. The fit for purpose AI hardware, right? That's awesome, right? Talking about cost performance and the energy consumption. So in considering, speaking of the hardware and software choices, what advantages does Intel offer for AI workloads compared to other options? Yeah, um, so, you know, enterprises, um, you know, searching to optimize their AI workloads, particularly if they're looking at it from a cost performance uh, or an energy consumption standpoint, you know, they're going to have to look at several key dimensions. Um, and, and I would say that there's really four, let's say, just to keep it simple, four areas. You know, number one, you know, just understanding what truly is their their performance requirements or the, the use case that they're trying to go after. Mm -hmm. Uh, number two is, you know, what is the hardware that that's required to to bring those use cases to life, as well as the software. So software would be the third, and then even even from a um, a deployment standpoint, as a, as a fourth dimension possibly to consider is, you know, are you looking to run these AI workloads on the cloud, mm -hmm. on on the edge, or is it some kind of a hybrid deployment um, mm -hmm. that has to be developed? Um, so why don't we start with performance requirements and the use cases of, of these enterprises themselves? I would say that depending on the industry uh, or the use case or the solution, um, an AI workload may fall into uh, one or some combination of, let's call it three archetypes. 
So, so we hear AI a lot, or sometimes we hear gen AI a lot. So if we break it down, let's say into some simple terms, classical machine learning as one, deep learning as another, and gen AI as a third. Um, and in many cases, we could even further bifurcate that into training versus inferencing. Hmm. And so with that in mind, you know, Intel and Deloitte have arrived at developing a key set of determinant factors, such as model size, data type, frequency, latency, token size, and these are just to name a few. Um, and through this robust analysis of our client requirements, we think we're in a really good position to help develop a fit for purpose infrastructure based on those requirements. Um, and then, and then if we move on from requirements and use cases to talk about hardware and Intel Xeon, mm -hmm. you know, as, as we're seeing with each generation of Intel Xeon, CPUs are becoming more and more efficient in terms of performance and cost, right? And, and although, you know, dedicated accelerators like GPUs and TPUs, for example, will always deliver um, superior results when it comes to performance, particularly on the most complex AI workloads, um, you know, not every AI solution demands such compute power, right? And enterprises should really work towards understanding the performance capacity of, of all available hardware types, not just GPUs, um, and, and what is the availability of that hardware across cloud and on-prem. Uh, and then also to understand, you know, you know, how should they optimize pricing, particularly with hyperscalers, right? That's another dimension of optimization um, and, and cost optimization. Um, and in doing so, I think enterprises will realize that they have they actually have far more choices than ever to to um, design and find the right infrastructure at the right price that satisfies the performance needs. Um, and then the third dimension that um, I'll spend a little bit of time talking about is really the software layer of the stack. So developers within enterprises have many methods available to improve AI performance such as algorithm selection or quantization and data compression. And these are just to name a few. Um, additionally, developers can choose from a plethora of open and closed source software and frameworks. Um, however, you know, knowing what kinds of optimization frameworks and extensions and libraries are available for the hardware and infrastructure that that, that particular enterprise has selected, it makes a material difference in terms of how much compute resources that your enterprise is going to need for your workloads. And so if I use Intel as an example, AI workloads that are directly that are directed to run on Intel, um, be it in the cloud or on-prem, they can take advantage of several customized, ex customized extensions um, and libraries such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, and Intel's OpenVINO, again, just to name a few. So from our review, you know, these extensions and optimization libraries have demonstrated significant performance gains, um, you know, in our, in our study of, of the Intel hardware itself, coupled with the software. Um, I'd like to maybe just do uh, one, one more shout out to an internal study that we did where we actually examined the performance capabilities of using Intel's fourth gen Xeon CPU. So through a series of Intel optimizations, um, our tests demonstrated a substantial increase in performance, which exceeded 75% from a non-optimized baseline of that performance. Um, and so this is, again, just one example whereby enterprises can exploit their existing Intel hardware and use Intel software optimizations. Wow, that's very impressive, right? And first of all, I'm so happy to hear about there is systematic framework, right? You and uh, on Intel in collaboration to generate. And then this performance improvement also going to have um, really impact on reducing the energy consumption, right? We all know the inference would really consume a lot of energy. So I'm glad, really happy to hear. Um, that's being said, that's take a step back and looking ahead, how do we see the partnership between Deloitte and Intel evolving to address future challenges and opportunities in AI optimization? 
Yeah, I think um, so. So optimizing AI workloads uh, again, if if you look at it from a cost, performance, and an energy consumption standpoint, this is not going to be a one-time activity, right? This is going to have to be embedded as an ongoing effort for our enterprises, and so so application owners uh, of these of our clients and enterprises. Um, they're going to continue to strive to push the boundaries of what they can deliver from an AI perspective, right? And, and that's really where the demand for com com compute is going to come from. Um, and, and collaboration with the infrastructure teams only becomes that much more paramount, right? To ensure that the hardware and the software optimization options that are available are being carefully assessed to balance, again, cost, performance, and energy consumption. Um, as we think about the future of the AI landscape and, and, and how that's going to evolve, um, you know, I think AI optimizations are, are just a starting point. You know, I, and, I, and I believe that the most effective approach will really depend on an organization's specific business strategy you know, their, their AI workloads, um, their available resources, what is what is it, what kind of an experience are they trying to create for their end users? And perhaps even looking at um, sustainability goals, right? Mm -hmm. And so so through all of these, you know, uh, you know variabilities, um, as we think about the future, I think Intel and Deloitte are both really committed to serving enterprises, you know, through this exciting time in, in AI. Yeah, I echo what you just said, right? I think the companies need a balancing approach, but thank you so much for sharing your insights and wisdom with us, Shakir, today. And here are my key three key takeaways from our conversation. Number one is AI landscape, right? Your market overview offers valuable insights into current AI trends and advancement. And I love what you just said, right? Companies need to calibrate business strategy with technology capability. And then you shared about 94% business leaders believe that AI is critical. So that's the positive side. However, there are still uh, a lot of challenges. You mentioned the three key challenges you mentioned. Number one was not knowing what infrastructure to select to run for a certain workload. Uh, the second challenge was the high cost to really uh, adopt uh, AI. 37% of AI, uh, the, the business leaders still are challenged to prove the business value of AI adoption. And the third challenge you highlight was the general, you know, sustained uh, investment needed for AI adoption. So the second key takeaway from our conversation is the impact of strategic partnership Deloitte and Intel are having. I love the fit for purpose uh, AI hardware framework you've put in place because that's so critical for companies to balance the needs among three uh, important drivers, right? Cost, performance, and energy uh, consumption when they consider what uh, infrastructure put in place for AI adoption. And thirdly is the, A, you know, Intel's advantage. Thank you for highlighting Intel's advantage and future evolution with our hardware and software uh, options combined with Deloitte's partnership uh, and your deep knowledge, industry knowledge, and this really help companies to um, accelerate their AI adoption. So thank you so much for sharing your insights. And I'm so excited to see more innovations in AI optimization. And um, it's clear that this collaboration between Intel and Deloitte has huge potential for improving how we work and innovate. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Stay hungry, stay bold, and stay grateful.